What I do when I do stop boy the blockchain finance and value and we've got one here that's minting on the 14th of January if I'm not mistaken and it's Isekai CNFT now full disclosure I bought into this one yesterday um I bought one of the tickets from JPEG store I was waiting for them to drop in price because they've been quite a lot it dropped under 100 ADA ADA is pretty cheap right now and I thought it would be a good purchase so we're going to get into why so first off this is the art now i love the art i think the art's amazing but there's a problem that i have with the art it's ai a lot of ai projects just do this art right because it's not exactly hard to do ai art is it you, you sign up for it you type in whatever it is you want to type in and then it generates it for you um which means that a lot of these projects at automatica have been rug pulling. Now, I'm not saying this is a rug pull at all. I don't think it is. Um, they've been minting the tickets. Yeah, I think they've got about 12K ADA from minting the tickets. Hope, I mean, there's not many of them. So hopefully, you know, I am going out on a bit of a win with this one, but I do like the look of it. So welcome to Asekai. is the first NFT collection with a fictional storyline and designed using AI with multiple utilities for Holdo. 999 unique NFT generated on the Cardano blockchain. So because there's only 999 of them, and I know people do like this art, they've already got 3,518 followers on their Twitter page. And in the Discord, sorry, let me find. I know many advisors how many are in the Discord. Am I being an idiot here and I can't see it? Don't think I can see it. But we'll have a look at some of the sneak peeks anyway. I mean, they're active on Twitter, but it's only a two-person team. I mean, as you can see, the art does look really good. And if they pull through with this, I mean, I love that. Is it Shark Wolf or something? That's that little sick. But this is the thing with AI. Certain things, in my opinion, look so different. I mean, these look so different to these. They all look great my opinion but it's just kind of you know it's ai art so the more i've been looking into it to get an understanding of it the more i'm a bit like when i see these projects i get a bit weary of them to be very honest but because of what i've seen everything you know, I'm, I'm sticking to it so let's break a kick come on with a breakdown so as you say, we're releasing 999 uh, unique NFTs. So as you can see, this, uh, the mint date is the 14th of January, 2023. 158, the price, transaction limit, one NFT. And it's applied less than 1,000. So phase zero is build a community. They are docs through Ted Nation. And we've got the Discord and website, ticket distribution, which I've got my own. So we're excited and confident you you will be too. And there are a few surprises for the community as well. So phase one, pre-sale of the ticket holders, public sale, buyback wallet, airdrop for holders, mutation and tokenomics. So quite, you know, they're gonna do they're gonna do a buyback, which I do love buybacks, because you know, you get buybacks in stocks and it just boosts the price of, of your stock. Basically. Um, Ear drops as well for the holders. Mutation, which is something we have seen quite a lot before with the mutations. But I haven't seen a lot of AI mutations, so that's going to be interesting to look at. And the tokenomics. So Sekai will have a buyback wallet for all public listings on JPEG store that are priced significantly lower than the short-term average floor price. This is an effort to maintain the floor price and ensure stability along and long-term gradual increase in value for the community. Eight of the main collection sales mutations in this is the second NFT drop, which is given free to holders with applicable terms and conditions. Tokenomics are tokens that will be awarded to holders with various utilities yet to be revealed. So we're going to look at the, utili the utilities of the card. So this is what I bought. I purchased one of these. So get 20% royalties every month, free mint, future airdrop, and one of one limited edition. Lifetime whitelist and priority mint raffles, ADA whitelist from other projects, private Discord room, 
tokenomics. And what you get for holding the main collection, one of these, is you get royalty according to rarity, future airdrop, whitelist upcoming drop, tokenomics. The above utility will apply if NFT is not listed on the secondary market, obviously. So I've already got, like I say, one of these tickets. I got one from the 200 ADA, which is pretty cheap right now. And I'm just going to keep, I, I will make the project. Um, and I'll just hold it because if they do well, I can, I can see these doing well. So the Sekai was the, was the first largest kingdom ever built in the Moonlight Forest. Technological, technological advances can be seen in every corner of the kingdom's territory. Various artificial intelligence are created there, such as manufacture of etern et etern energy, weapons of destruction, even in the, even in the inhabitants are dominated by ro robot humans. In fact, 99 of the oceans have never been explored. I think that's supposed to be percent. In fact, 99% of oceans never been explored. This shows that there are still many mysteries in the sea that have not been revealed. Even with the most advanced technology, could not explore more than 20% or 20 summit, 20 habitats that exist in the waters. Damn Lino, this place has been around for millions of years. He was a witness to the formation of Moonlight Forest. What the what the place around the Isekai Kingdom? Now this is a problem for me. What the fuck is that supposed to say? Let me read that again. Because is it me? This place has been around for millions of. This is what I'm saying. If you can't even get this shit right, I don't. I, I don't know if I'll be minting this. You know, you can't even. I'm, 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 I'm investing in a project that can't spell around. This project has been around for millions of years. This place has been around for millions of years. He was a witness to the formation of Moonlight Forest. What the place around the Esekai Kingdom or doesn't make any fucking sense. So, big problem there from the get go. This is part of your law and it doesn't make sense. Um, Dark Side Abyss, where the demons of the evil characters live. Like what? They intend to rule over the Moonlight Forest in a devious way, under the under the ground where the demons are caged. In fact, saints can become demons upon entering this territory and never return. No one knows if this place is under the Esekai Kingdom. So, mm, you know, that was a bit shit really, a bit lackluster. These are the founders. Again, more AI or I'm not too sure about this project, guys, if I'm being honest after reading that. What blockchain? How to get a, a road to a Sekai ticket? You just have to be fucking active. And then it said 99 A there, so it was a mint thing. There is a buyback wallet. We've been through all this. Um, yeah, after reading that, this part here, I don't know. Because if you can't even get that shit right, like, this is what I always say to projects. Projects could reach out to any random fucking guy on YouTube, Twitter, and just say, could you could you read this for me? Could you read it and have a look? So the art's not generate, not they've not done themselves. You fucked up part of the story to the website. I don't know if this is supposed to be a percentage line or whatever this is supposed to be here. Um... And yeah, you're going to have to put your fucking ideas up, if I'm being honest with you. Because you're asking for 150 ADA per mint. And certain people have already minted these. So, you know, the art looks good. And if they can deliver, then happy days. But, you know, there's, there's quite a few people interested. You know, that's what's kind of got me more interested in it than anything, is the fact that there's only 999 of these. But there's no point having 999 of them if, you know, they fucking run off and rug pull, like Automatica did. You know, I'm very sceptical with a lot of these projects now. Um, I was in Automatica, I held the egg, I didn't sell it, um, I was waiting for the hatch, and then they fucking rug pulled. I might, if I'd have sold it, I'd have... I'd, I'd have fucking X my money up quick, but I didn't. So I was left holding the bag. Um, and when I see shit like that, I, you know, I go for, I've, I've said it many times on my videos, no matter how good this shit looks, 
if I don't know what the hell's going on with your story, which is a fucking main part of what you're supposed to be doing, how the hell am I supposed to fucking make a good, a good, a good assumption? You know, they need to sort that shit out. They need to sort that shit out. 110%. Like, I'm, I'm actually going to get, get, get in touch with the team and tell them your shit don't make no sense. Because it doesn't. It doesn't. And if that's supposed to be selling, it, it's, it's, it's not so me. I, I was up very late last night um, planning to make this video. And I, I went through this website because it was so late. It was at three o'clock in the morning. I was reading it and I didn't realize how shit what I was reading was, was until I've just made this video now. So the art's wicked, the engagement's there. You know, I, I think, you know, looking at it again, I think it's pretty risky, if I'm being honest with you. A two person team, you know, it is risky. So, but yeah, man, let me, let me know what you guys think. So it's um, Stockboydy, blockchain finance of value. Like and subscribe, subscribe and like and peace.